good evening. I'm just sitting here with the yoga wall. And Saki hopped onto my lap for some really close snuggling. It's really pressed into me. I'm purring. The view of the ceiling is so you can hear him purring, perhaps. I don't think he'll stay here. Oh. <laughs> I was just saying I don't think he'd stay here long. And he hopped off as I said the sentence, so now he's sitting here. How you doing, buddy? But he's still purring. Anyway, I thought that might be a sign of... <coughs> meditation time we're sitting here against the uh, stretching yoga wall and we're sitting here with a cat who stretches all day long many many times and we're both just sitting in nice repose you know with the one who stretches and against the one who stretches and he's going to practice opening the door now you can do it you did it a minute ago go in yeah you just gotta get your nose in there go in Get your nose in there. Go in. Go in. Yeah, you just gotta get your nose right in here. That's where you need your nose. Go in. Yep, yeah, just get your nose right in there. Go in. You got it. Just put your nose in. Go in. There you go. You did it. There he goes. Good for you. Anyway, that didn't last long, but we've begun, so <coughs> we're going to sit by the yoga wall anyway. Like maybe I'll just go on and do a little, I'll do a little meditation, a little meditation of uh, stretching. I was going to do a stretching and reposing and meditation. Stretching a little bit. I was going to do a little uh, in repose, considering stretching with the, you know, the heart and mind, for example. But that's how he left. Maybe I'll just do some stretching and find repose in the stretching. Let's see how that goes. some repose in that. So I'm kind of suspended horizontally. Now stretching my shoulder. Really energizing the legs. I don't know if you can see me out, but that's okay. Stretching my left shoulder. And while I'm stretching very energized, I'm just gonna Try to tune into an abode, a quietness, a quiescence of the mind and the heart while I'm stretching. So rather than inviting the mind to do what the body's doing, which is a lot of effort to stay up here, not as much effort as the 
to people in the photo. But I'm doing a lot of effort to stay up here and then also a lot of stretching and expanding. I'm trying to let my mind and heart rest in a zazen like a mushin, a quiet place. So I'm putting a lot of effort in my legs, stretching parts of the body, and trying to remind and encourage and invest in the quietness of the mind and the heart. And there's Saki just came back in. What's up there, buddy? How you doing? Yeah, how are you? Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you to say hello. Thank you very much. Well, we changed the meditation when you left. Yeah, now we're doing a different one with our feet up in the air. Yeah. Which sure we are. There he goes. Let's see if he'll get on my... If you want to get on my back. Okay. There he goes. How is that? There he goes. Is that enjoyable? Yeah. Oh. Here he goes. So that's the practice. Trying to balance this. slide off buddy yeah you're gonna slide off if you do that there he goes yeah good for you thank you thank you So, thank you for joining me. There we go. So, a nice little version of that. <coughs> Something that my Aikido teacher emphasized in meditation, which was to set contrasting things in relation to one, one another. So we had vigorous leg exercise and the idea of stretching. And I wanted to have the idea of not stretching, of settling and relaxing and not exercising in the mind and the heart and then live peacefully with those two contrastable notions. And interestingly, we had the cat plan, <laughs> which was to not stretch and rest and consider stretching. The cat left and we changed it and then the cat came back so he sort of helped with the contrasting too. So, thank you very much. <laughs>